So parents need to be involved in talking to their, their children about media even before you're talking to them and teaching them to read because they see things before they're able to read. So your teaching of how to understand those things needs to start earlier. I think a lot of times parents just put their kids in front of the TV and I can understand that, but you also need to be involved in their understanding of what they're seeing. I would say even at the level of, if you're watching Barney, do this children understand that that's a, a puppet? There's a lot schools can do and very little that are they doing at this point. Schools need to re reframe and rethink literacy. I mean, schools, that's one of their big missions is literacy. And they'll all tell you that. And literacy, they'll say, is number one on their list. But they really don't have a, a good grasp of what type of literacy needs our students have and what type of literacy needs we have as a society in a, if we want to live in a democracy, if we really want to create democracy where everyone participates and has real access to understanding the messages and what's going on, media literacy is essential. There's no way to have true democracy without people being media literate, both in, in understanding the messages and creating the message, messages and contributing it. So I think one of the cornerstones of media literacy is that it's essential for democracy. Well, it's, that's one of my favorite questions because I think everybody needs to be media literate. We're all learning something because we've never had a culture like this before. We're all complaining that media is speeded, I mean, that our world is speeded up, that there's, you know, that we're rushed and crushed and, and, and people are working two jobs and, and there's so much to go on and you can't, you're overloaded with your email and all that. You know, everybody complains about it. Well. When you have an overwhelming situation in your life, you can do one of three things. You can either fight to change it, you can accept it, or you can run away from it and leave it. Well, we can't run away from it because it's everywhere. Yeah. Um, we can't, um, we can accept it and just let it slide over us, but you have to be engaged in trying to change it, to try to tame it, to try to get your arms around it, to uh, be able to incorporate it into your life. We make so many decisions on the basis of the media that we receive. I don't know about you, but I found out about where to live. We find out how to live. We find out what to wear. We find out what to eat what medicines to consume, we find out virtually all of our information through media. It's very important to understand why was this message sent to me and what am I getting out of this message? And we know that often messages are sent to sell us something or perhaps a message is sent because someone wants to influence our opinion or get our vote or persuade us of a particular ideology. So we absolutely have to understand why a message was sent and what the motivation behind that message is. Then we're in a much stronger position to make wise choices about what we want to do.